Right here, we have Nick Castellanos walking us through his tea routine and walking us through his approach at the plate. There's a lot of things that you can learn as a young baseball player. And if I was a young player, I would look up all the interviews, look up the swing breakdowns, look up all the things you can on Nick Castellanos because he went from a player that had a lot of upside, but he just couldn't put it together. And then he made a few adjustments and now look at him. He's one of the hottest hitters in baseball and he's really underrated to be honest and I think that you should definitely look into his stats look into his numbers and learn what he's doing what what made him become the player he is right now so today he walks us through his tea routine so we're going to watch that and I'm going to break it down piece by piece and at the end of this video I'm going to give you a playbook that I use to help me to become the player I am today so with that being said let's jump into the content today I want you to talk about you know tea work because as hitters, man, you got a guy out there throwing 95, 98 miles an hour inside, outside, breaking balls. So what do you do like pregame ritual wise on the tee? Um, well, first, first I'll start with the tee uh, kind of out over the plate just to make sure that uh, pretty much my direction is going towards the pitcher. So just kind of gaining ground and staying through everything. So you start out with balls away because 80% of the game's away, right? They're not trying yeah. to live inside. Especially if you swing at that stuff away, then they'll start spinning stuff away. Which so are usually... six three and a five three. Yeah, we <laughs> don't we don't we don't like those. So pretty I'll just out here, out in front of the plate, mm -hmm. and I'll probably go through about eight, eight swings like this. Mm -hmm. See, that was that double play you were talking That's about. That's that double play. That's okay though. So that's the ball away. That's the pitch away. What about the pitch inside? In other words, you got a guy out there filthy. Let's act like you're facing Justin Verlander. Let's act like you got 95 coming in, forcing when they want it. How and where would you put the tee for the inside fastball? Well, first off, if they throw you 95 plus and they put it that much on the black, good luck. Good luck, right? Good luck. You're picking up your knuckles. Yeah, so I'll put it out here a little bit more out front, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll still, I'll still try to hit this ball more towards the middle part of the field, just because I don't want to start spinning, because uh, then that's no good. Where's your power though? Like, where are you trying to drive the ball out for a homer? Are you are you foul pole to foul pole? Or are you more uh, left center? I'm more. I'm more. I mean, I have hit homers from foul pole to foul pole before, but I usually just my I, my line of sight is pretty much center right center. So it's 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 really easy to get excited when you see that pitch on the inside half, and all of a sudden you just stay back here and you spin. Uh, you know, then you start hooking stuff. So. Pretty much what, just, just like that pitch away, just keep gaining ground towards the pitcher and trust your path of keeping your hands inside the baseball. And what's inside the baseball do? That brings the barrel uh, to the ball? Yeah, so you tuck your hands in and allow your barrel to drag. If you look at Miguel Cabrera's swing in slow motion, he does a really good job of that. Awesome, brother. All right, boys, that's Nikki Fresh from this big all the way to this big. Back to you guys in the studio. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we have Nick Castellanos walking us through his tea routine. And I wanted to let you see what he was saying first in a, without interrupting what he's saying. And now we're going to go into what he's saying as a player and how you can use that to your advantage so you can get high level results. OK, so um, before we go into the content, we got the Pro's Cave jersey. Yes, the merch is coming soon. Let me know if you guys would be interested in getting some Pro's Cave stuff. So comment below. Thank you guys and let's go into the content. So what do you do like pregame ritual wise on the tee? Um, well, first, first I'll start with the tee, uh, kind of out over the plate, just to make sure that uh, pretty much my direction is going towards the pitcher. So just kind of gaining ground and staying through everything. So the first thing I want to say is that a lot of you young players do not use the T and that is really hindering your performance. Use the T to get the right feels, to get your body going in the right place and taking those reps to train your body to do what it needs to be doing. You'll see right here, he says he uses the T and he's just using it to get his body going. So he's getting the feels that he needs to dominate on the field. 
So what he says is he wanna keeps everything going in the right direction towards the pitcher. Cause the last thing you wanna do is roll over or you wanna take your body and move to you know your pull side too much. And there were some times where I did that in my career, but when I was going my best, I was balanced. And you hear me always talking about creating that strong base. Well, Castellanos is saying that he may do it differently. Um, and you'll see in this video, he moves a lot with his lower half. And for me personally, I don't believe leave and moving a lot but that's what he does and but he has the same premise in that he's trying to stay up the middle so he's not off balance so we're you know saying the same things you're just doing it completely different and that's the thing about hitting there's a lot of different ways to get results so you start out with balls away because 80 percent of the game's away right they're not trying yeah. to live inside especially if you swing at that stuff away then they'll start spinning stuff away which so are six three and a five three yeah we don't we don't we don't like those so pretty, I'll just out here, out in front of the plate. And I'll probably notice that he said out in front of the plate. A lot of players put the ball real deep and that is key. You do want to hit the ball deep because it keeps you to stay square and drive the baseball. But when you hit it out front, that's when you're going to do damage and your direction. When you actually hit balls, it's going to be out front. You should be able to see your top hand and you should see the barrel hit the ball. And if you do that, then you're hitting it out front where it needs to be. Now, if you're a hitter and you hit and you don't see the ball hit the barrel then the ball's too deep on you so work on that you don't want to be too out in front where you're pulling balls that are out um outer third um but you do want to have it a little bit out front where you can still drive it to the right side if you're a right-handed hitter and the opposite side if you're a left-handed hitter I'll probably go through about eight eight swings like this mm -hmm. see that was that double play you were talking that's about. that so you see how he moved forward with his swing? So that changed his base, which forced him to roll over the ball. See how he's moving forward? So personally with me, I don't really like that where you're moving your base forward, but it works for him. And he's found what works for him. And that's the key. If you find what works for you, you do it. You keep doing it and doing it and doing it. For me, I would keep his lower half staying at the same place and then work up and through the baseball to the outer, uh, to the opposite field gap. And another thing I want to talk about here is look how slow he is moving he is moving in like slow motion because that's the difference between the mlb and the amateurs when you put a ball in the tee at the low levels they're moving at 100 miles per hour but at the higher levels we move slower that's what we want to do and if you watch the barry bond swing breakdown i talk about how tony gwen told me about the jazzy drill he put on classical music for me to sync up with the music and that could be something you guys could do as well to slow your body down down so you can find your rhythm because you want to be slow and in control and then you want to strike like a cobra you don't want to be fast because in the game you're going to be faster and that's when your head's going to move your lower half's going to move and you're not going to be controlled so by being slow you teach your body what it needs to do and then you work from there that's how you learn any skill in this sport when i work with my young kids that are eight years old six years old seven years old i tell them to go super slow it literally looks like they're doing you know like a slow motion video but over the course of time they do the right actions and then they go faster and faster and then those kids start banging the baseball and the same thing on defense and same thing on offense so if you're a player out there work slow work slow learn the skill that you're trying to learn and then go into being faster and faster over a course of time that's that double play that's okay though So that's the ball away. That's the pitch away. What about the pitch inside? In other words, you got a guy out there filthy. Let's act like you're facing Justin Verlander. Let's act like you got 95 coming in, forcing him when they want it. How and where would you put the tee for the inside fastball? Well, first off, if they throw you 95 plus and they put it that much on the black good luck good luck right good luck look i want to say something too everyone always says i can't hit the inside pitch look that pitch right there you're never going to hit that pitch no one swings at that pitch honestly you should even in practice you should take that pitch pitchers don't throw there consistently so don't even work on that pitch because that pitch is a hard pitch to hit it's everyone's problem when it comes to hitting is that inside pitch right there and that's a pitcher's pitch now you'll see how he's moving the ball to the inner third that's where you need to 
hit that pitch and that's a mistake when it's in the inner third of the plate that's a mistake because like i said in previous videos baseball history was created over the middle of the plate and that's from the inner third to the outer third you're picking up your knuckles yeah so i'll put it out here a little bit more out front mm -hmm. you know and i'll still i'll still try to hit this ball more towards the middle part of the field just because i don't want to start spinning uh, cause then that's no good. So I liked what he said here. And this is similar to what Mike Trout says. This is similar to what Shohei Otani does. They take their swing plane is going more up the middle. And it's something that I wish I would have known when I was playing. If you look at Castellano's stats, he hits the ball up the middle about 40% of the time, which is very high. And that's because his direction is moving up the middle. And you want to have that direction going up the middle and having that swing path where you're trying to drive it up the middle or catch it where it flies up the middle if you have that direction if you hit it out front that's a homer to your pull side naturally because you're hitting it on the up swing when you're you know when you're hitting it like where are you trying to drive the ball out for a homer are you are you foul pole to foul pole or are you more uh, left center i'm more i'm more i mean i have hit homers from foul pole to foul pole before but i usually just my look at that direction right there look where his head is look where his hands are everything is going up the middle up the middle he's literally tapping himself on the back and he's moving like a clock that's going north to south not east to west or not from you know nine to three he's moving from 12 to six and if you do that you're going to get that swing path where you're going to drive through the baseball without pulling off it and look at his direction everything is moving right up the middle and is his lower half probably in the best place no i mean i would like his lower half be a little bit more into the ground but it doesn't matter when your swing path and direction is going the right way when things are doing the right stuff you're going to hammer the baseball uh you know then you start hooking stuff so pretty much what just just like that pitch away just keep gaining ground towards the pitcher and trust your path of keeping your hands inside the baseball you see what he did right there look at his left hand his left hand if i could go back i'm going to go back right now his left hand you should see the Adidas sign the entire time. Look at right there. Look at this path. Adidas, 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 Adidas. And if he got extended through that, you would still see the Adidas sign on the other side as he's going through that baseball. So that path is working up the middle and that's what allow him to drive the baseball and elevate it. There's a reason why he has changed his swing and he's getting the results he is because he's hitting the ball more in the air. Now, I'm not that guy that says the launch angle swing, but I mean, this guy's a proven point that he went from having like a 10, to 13 or 14 launch angle early in his career to a 22 launch angle and he's hitting more home runs he's hitting more doubles he has this manny ramirez ish swing thing going on and it's working and this guy is not a defensive type player but he's hitting way more than he is as defense so with that being said what he's doing is working and what's inside the baseball do that brings the barrel uh, to the ball yeah so you tuck your hands in and allow your barrel to drag if you look at Miguel Cabrera's swing in slow motion, he does a really good job of that. Awesome, brother. So that's great stuff right there. And I appreciate Nick Castellanos giving that information. And with that being said, if you guys watch until the end, I want to offer you a free book right here. This is the playbook that helped me to be the player that I am today. What you're going to do is document everything. You document your hits, your bats, your thoughts, the pitches that you see, and you use that to improve your performance. You take that data, you keep analyzing it, you make the adjustments adjustments and boom next thing you know you're going to be a different player with something that i wish i would have known earlier in my career and um i'm going to give it to you for free all you do is pay shipping and if you're interested link will be in the description below so i want to thank you guys for watching hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here again thank you for your time have a good day and i'll see you in the next video